there is a wonderful place in Kamchatka, the volcanic caldera, Uzon. 40,000 years ago, there was a cone-shaped volcano that was around 3 kilometers high. But finally, it couldn't handle a series of its own eruptions and fell apart. Its summit failed, and a hollow measured from 10 to 20 kilometers in diameter and from 200 to 800 meters deep was formed. To this very day, the external edge of the volcano frames the perimeter of the caldera. Locals have their own version of the origin of this location. According to legends, a good spirit named Uzon have lived on the summit in ancient times. The spirit helped people, but it was doing it secretly as the evil spirits were not supposed to know where the force of good rests. Once people found the lane leading to Uzon, but the ground swallowed the mountain. The evil spirits occupied the bottom of the hollow and began to burn sulfur and scold every living thing. Ozan spirit itself has turned into stone in a mournful position. For geologists, the caldera of Ozon is a natural laboratory where you can observe different geological processes. It is also the place of birth of the youngest oil on Earth. The color scheme of the caldera can be explained by the diversity of chemical elements. Aluminium provides gray color, sulfur yellow, and copper green. Altogether, this colors create a wonderful landscape that often referred as extraterrestrial. Since 1996, the caldera together with the whole complex of volcanoes of Kamchatka has become the UNESCO World Heritage Site. The volcanic caldera Zon is a unique place where stern birch stands next to dwarfy vegetation and wild alpine grasses. Berries attract bears and birds, and several species of fish inhabit the local waters. Geological processes that take place in the Ozon caldera can indeed be compared to the activity of the supernatural forces. Hundreds of geysers spring up out of the ground with boiling water. The fumaroles, openings in the volcano's crust, produce gases and mud, while oxidized hydrogen sulfide covers the ground with yellow-green crystals.
certain colors of the Uzan caldera are considered to be the brightest in the whole Kamchatka. Arctus, a species of heather, adds an unusual color to the golden palette of trees. At the end of the summer, its leaves turn violet red. One of the most ancient craters of the volcano was filled with water and became a lake named Dalni. It is located at 700 meters above sea level and is one kilometer in diameter. Several rivers flow from the nearby slopes into this lake, as the lake itself is without outflow. Another lake is called Eight and has gained its name due to its form. It is indeed two lakes separated by a thin strip 